Hi guys, Wacka here. Today I want to cover off using Ape and creating custom skyboxes. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is create uh, a duplicate of one of the skyboxes. Um, it could be any skybox, but let's just pick this one. So I'm going to duplicate this. And we're going to call it uh, Skybox Wacker. There we go. Oh, now we've got Skybox Wacker. In essence, all that is is a standard skybox. There's not a lot you're going to see. It's a skybox. Uh, it's using that model for the skybox. We don't really need to worry about this. I'm going to explain why. So the other thing I'm going to do is create a new GDT. Um, I have covered these before, so hopefully you've been following those uh, videos. Uh, I'm going to create it in the model export folder. I'm going to create a new folder uh, and I'm going to call this RDV Skyboxes because uh, this is who it's for and again RDV Skybox so we now have RDV Skyboxes I'm then going to drag the one I've created here into there okay that's done so now we can save that and that part of the skybox is now done. I then need to create a new material. So what we shall do is create a material for the skybox. If we scroll down, currently it's wanting to use this. Well, this is uh, no good to me. So what I should be able to do is create a new one. So if I do new, new material, um, and let's have a think. So this is yeah, I'm going to create a number of these, but let's call it RD, RDV Skybox 1. Okay, and then we need to change uh, what it is. So it's going to be a Skybox, it's going to go for a, that long HDR. Um, so let's type none. And what else do we need to tick? Do we need to tick anything else? I'm trying to have a think. Brain. No, we just need a colour map, don't we, somewhere. So, let's save that. New. RDV colour. RDV Skybox 1 for my colour map. And then we can look for... Saving that. Select that, and we need to pick the texture. So the texture, um, I need to move. So we've got... Down those new folder to. I exported a load of PNGs, so let's cut those. Um, go to model export because I want to keep everything in the same place. Uh, I called it RDV Skyboxes, so let's have a folder for it. images. Paste. Right, they are now in, and we're going to look for this one first. So, I'm going to find Model Export, I'm going to find RDV, I'm going to go into Images, I'm going to choose the PNG type, I'm going to select number 1, there we see it there. Um, I don't think there's any more settings that we need to worry about this. You can select the sky size and other rotations and stops and so on at this stage. Um, but I don't th know if I want to do that. Oh no, sorry, I say that. That's what we do in the properties here. So you can set a number of important images. So you can select the sky size and you can select stops. So I'm going to leave it as default. So now we have these. There's the sky box. Not a lot to say about it. We could look at the material. It doesn't ever show in here, so I don't know even why I'm bothering showing this. But the point is, we have some form of texture in there. I need to go back to here and change the actual thing. So this is going to be RDV Skybox 1. Save. So that's now selected. So now I have that done. I probably need to close this down. I want it to see the new... Um, I want it to see the new uh, GDT file we've created, so we're just going to reopen this. 
Although 8 will do real-time updates into your editor, it's sometimes good to make sure GDTs and a database successfully updates. We're going to go into Radiant. Ah, we're going to wait for it to load, and as usual we can sing a song of sixpence and so on. We're going to get rid of that, get rid of that. We don't want any of these. Don't know why I've got them open. Probably because that's what's last had open. I'm going to open... Uh, my map for this test and at the moment the skybox doesn't do a lot that's the skybox so we need to change the skybox so if we quickly zoom up there's the sun volume press N for November and we should be able to find uh, whatever the heck I could call it and I've now forgotten what did I call it is it even there this could be a problem. Who knows? Let's go and check in eight, shall we? Um, so I've done that, done that. Oh, yeah, of course, haven't done the SSI. What a silly person. So we also need to create an SSI. Again, I'm going to duplicate one. So I'm going to take this one, going to duplicate it. Uh, we're going to call it. Uh, RDV underscore Wacker. Oh, we'll call it Skybox 1 for logic. How silly of me not to do this. Right, so we've got RDV Skybox 1 here. We need to select the model, which I think we called RDV. Yeah, gosh. Here's where I get all in a pickle. Get myself in a real muddle. Uh, I'm going to run through this again. Uh, it's a long while since I've done this. I actually need to cut that. We need to have RDV. Uh, uh, we'll paste assets. So now my SSI is in there. Um, and the skybox model is skybox underscore wacker skybox underscore wacker there we go save hopefully now when I go on here I'll just have to reload it RDV skybox 1 wonderful save obviously it needs rebuilding the light but we can quickly do this obviously the better quality skybox textures you have the easier this is I need to just deselect that and hey presto we now have a different skybox got a bit of fog going on that's fine but the point is it's relatively easy and we could always change the skybox if we were happy with it so we could select that and we could go back to a stock one And there you go, that's a stock one. So it depends on the textures you've got. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to run through it again. Now I have half said what we need to do. So there are four, ele four elements to this. We need a skybox uh, model, which can point to any uh, actual real model file. Um, so that's fine. There's not a lot we need to do about that. Other than if we're creating more skyboxes, we're going to have to duplicate it. So let's have skybox wacker 2. I should have really had the syntax value, but it doesn't matter. We're going to do this. And then we're just going to duplicate all these. So, duplicate number two. Duplicate number two. Duplicate number two. Save that a moment. So, let's go back to Wacker number two. Uh, we're going to tell that to use number two. Um, we're going to tell that to use number two and the key bit is now the image I want a different image so I'm going to select number two so if I choose PNG files select that there we go different skybox there it's selected I've saved it um, we can press N for the, uh, we need to go up to the, sorry, we need to go up to the sun box again Press N, wrong key, press N for November, 
and we now should have two RDV skyboxes and just to prove a point I'm going to select them here okay if we go down save that let's build the lighting the way it goes it's going to do it for two skyboxes now because I've got two light states so here's skybox number press F9 so this is number one light state number two let's build the lighting on this for some reason it didn't build and we've got number two not entirely sure what the difference is between those two images not a great deal don't know why we best go and check it's probably going to be due with the stops one's going to be darker and they're the problem with these images are not the best images I am working with these images at the moment uh, but if I was to press this and if I was to select my spacey theme one somewhere I've got a spacey theme there we go here's one I prepared earlier there we go there we go nice stars skybox uh, the key is to find really nice high res skyboxes so this one of mine here is uh, it's only about 100 meg um, the ones I've got in here they're only about 10 20 meg if that I don't think they're even that 4 meg they're about 4 meg they're not really high enough quality for what I really would like to see uh, we need higher quality ones but the point is it isn't too hard to do it so let's quickly recap create yourself a skybox um, you can just duplicate any skybox that exists you can leave it pointed at any of the skybox models that you had you then need to have a new material so all I've done is cr uh, create a material called RDV underscore skybox yada 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 here's the material it's a geometry sky latitude, latitude longitude HDR there are other ones you could use uh, I do use some others but I won't go into that now surface type none, gloss range custom use is not an editor because you're not going to use this in the editor it's an SSI you then need an SSI to associate to it, to it again you tell it which skybox model and this is probably why the other one didn't work um, tell it which skybox model to use you can then give it a bit of a tints and colors and whatever else uh, and of course you have the image that it looks at and it really is that simple there's not a great deal to it it doesn't really look that different but I think it's just a way to sc I'll probably have to come out of the editor and go back in but there we go that is skyboxes nice and simple uh, it's all fan dozy catch you all later guys bye